Hello. Until the 19th and beginning of the 20th century, this island and the island where the city hall is on were the two islands where we had all our industry and where the workers were living. It's when we still had a parliament consisting of nobility, they assembled 13th century after Christ. Drive through, you can drive around it but not through because only transport is for your orientation, so you know which one is the foreign ministry. It's a little bit pink in the bottom, then is a park in front of us on the left side. The name of that park is Kungsgården, was in the medieval times kitchen garden for a royal palace, and it was public, or it became rather, public park under Queen Christina in the 17th century. And then there is another statue, it's easier to see, that's John Ericsson, and he is the inventor of the propeller. Here we are at the Vassar Museum, just offloading.
to honor um, distinguished people with um, the key of the town, the key to the city. Um, we are not uh, the ones who, who honor people with the key to the city, but we honor with uh, the skeleton keys. <laughs> If we could get the chairman of the Sherlock Holmes Society of London. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And our chairman, Carolina Gomes Lagerle, will. Please. Thank you very much. <laughs> very good. And I'm sure these will unlock many doors for us. <laughs> you can. You can go. If not, they will look very nice on the wall. You can, <laughs> you can come and go uh, whenever you want. <laughs> Swedish locks are obviously simpler than we're used to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, uh, Oops, to honour them, we also Please. want to. Uh, there is a tradition in the basketball hall club of Sweden um, to um, to give a howl. Quite. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. The basketball oh. hound. Oh. Howl. Oh. And oh. together yeah. with oh. with the basketball oh. hound. <laughs> All members of the basketball hall club of Sweden. Oh. Oh. Brilliant. Our 
CS regarding the skull of a certain Mr. Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> According to Mr. Uh, Mortimer, Mr. Holmes has such dolichocephalic a skull and such well-marked supraorbital development. Oh. Uh, oh. But since Mr. Mortimer has not been able to get a cast of the skull of uh, Mr. Holmes for us, uh, we wonder if there is even the slightest possibility to get the exact measures of the above-mentioned skull. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Kurt Lindblom, Chairman of the Swedish Pathological Society. Uh, uh, is Mr. Sherlock Holmes... Uh, yeah. Mr. Holmes. Uh, a message from uh, His Majesty, the King of Scandinavia. Uh,